Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we are doing a follow-up on the 14 volt battery from XS batteries that I like so much. I learned a little bit, so I wanna share it with you guys. So I'm gonna be completely straightforward with you guys and humble about this. The 14 volt battery I talked about and made a previous video about, I love it. Uh, it pumps out so much juice and a car runs so much better from water pump to fan to uh, fuel pump and everything in between. You just get more out of everything. You get more fuel flow, better fan for cooling, more uh, water pump for cooling, um, and then also all your EFI benefits from having a higher voltage. But the one caveat is that in my previous video I said, you know, you can just run your standard alternator. It charges at 14.7 volts. I had used that actual alternator and battery combo for over a year at that point, and it was working great. Well, one day it just died. Uh, it literally couldn't have been more than two months after I made that last video, and it really had me perplexed. I made a pass to the end of the racetrack, and the battery just, the car just wouldn't start. It was dead. I got went back to the drawing board. I started calling around, and I called uh, the guys at XS and they said, yeah, actually that battery needs to charge about 16 volts, which I should know because a 12 volt battery charges at 14.8. So this needs to charge at like 16.5 or 6, 7, 8, whatever. So I called our friends at PowerMaster. We sell a lot of standard PowerMaster items for like our alternator brackets and stuff like that, starters. Uh, but I was completely unaware they made a special alternator for a 14 volt battery. It runs at about 16.5 volts. It fits in a normal case. They call it their excess volt series. And so basically I gave them the style and the part number of alternator I had, and they sent me one that was programmed to run with a 14 volt. And now that I have that, this thing goes down the road and charges over 16 volts and it's just an absolute beast. And uh, I'm very confident, so is excess, that I will never have to replace the battery for many, many years. Basically, when you undercharge a battery, it slowly degrades the battery and ruins it. And it basically gets to a point where it ruins enough cells where it won't run anymore. So I wanted to give you guys that update. I apologize for anybody that would have uh, that similar experience but I'm confident if you step up to this new uh, alternator, uh, it's gonna fix your problems. That video is not old enough to have the same problems I had. Uh, I know it would last long enough, but uh, I want you guys to know that you can call up PowerMaster and request that excess volt style alternator so that you can run the 14 volt uh, system. And from there, you have the perfect charging and running battery for a very amperage intensive combo, like a car that makes 2000 horsepower and has water pumps and intercooler pumps and big fans and stuff all over it. So now you know, now I know, just wanted to bring it to you guys. If you have comments or questions, definitely drop them below. If you have ideas for another Tech Tip Tuesday, please share them in the description or the comments below. That's how we get ideas and we'd love to answer your questions and some of ours. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time.